to uh, build that resilience, uh, mental resilience, and I think that's that, you can see that. Like Mallory always goes back, no matter what. Always goes back, and I've seen her pick up medals on the back of that as well. You do just never know. You, you don't know how the rest of the athletes are yeah. going to perform. Um, and, and you know, we saw Ryan in the C1 men as well pick up a touch on uh, gate two or three, and uh, it almost spurred him on just to go a bit harder. And you know, he got himself on the podium. I know it's only two seconds, but um, you know, the C1 women event normally is a bit more spread. So Anna could have seen herself uh, get competitive if she'd have gone back there. Yeah, you know, her to judge. Those uh, those World Cup points at the end all add up. So I think she'll she'll reflect back on this and maybe. Uh, learn from from not not going for the gate. So anyway, moving on. And it's the young one, is it? Junior world yeah. champion, yeah. Yeah. double junior world champion. Double. It's Andrea Herzog. And we were commenting before. She looked really good. Yeah, she made this course look easy in the semi final. Um, again, another athlete who just seemed to just do a really good job. You know, she knew what she had to do. She didn't have to do anything special. Uh, I was particularly impressed with her upstream around gate five, if I seem to remember, um, the one on the stoppers. So uh, really good boat skills for sure. Yeah, yeah, you can see the water changes around quite a lot there. It looked like for Anna, um, it was quite boily and it was pushing her left, uh, which is why she went left-hand side of four. I mean, it's definitely still possible. Um, just gives you much less room for error, and unfortunately, uh, she was there at the wrong time. But no such problems for Andrea so far. It's the beauty of our sport because you do have to adapt to a dynamic environment. As you can see in that aerial shot, there's so many different uh, currents swirling around. You've got to keep your head up, looking at what's happening in front of you. Definitely. It's way more of an art than a science, isn't it, yeah. Kuz Lalam? Um, it's like totally non-linear. You know, there's no world records. Um, oh, she's got stalled out on the eddy line, but does well to keep the boat tracking up. She kept it clean as well, um, but waiting again to come through here. She's gone for the peel option and taken the penalty. You know, it's a lot of risk with that. That's why I don't like the option. Uh, I saw a lot of girls do that earlier, and uh, a lot of them took touches. There's not a lot of room between the wall and the, the outside of the gate there. As she comes into into the upstream, pushes wide, uses the back the flow in the back of the eddy. We haven't seen a girl take it on um, on the upstream stroke into the stop and stop and move here. Ah, uh, not yet. No, we haven't, have we? Saw some of the men's kayak and um, some of the seal men do that yesterday. Um, it's definitely better on the upstream lane on the right, so um, we'll yeah. see if anyone tries it. I think that could be the, a big separator. That that could be uh, how someone gets to that 110 mark. Definitely, yeah. Look, looking at uh, who's yet to come, the two Fox sisters and Franklin as well, they've definitely got the skills for that. Yeah, I think so. But let's see how Andrea finishes this off. A little bit more waiting in there. Third place at Mamet is what, big 121, sprint. so it's but potentially a medal. would have been theoretically. So, sneaks in. Oh, into third place. So on the podium at the moment, but we've three very good boats yet to come. Those touches could prove costly. She could have been down at 116. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. right in, the, in a shot for the medals, isn't it? Well, there's a good crowd today in uh, difficult conditions. It's a great facility there because everything's so close. Two Czech champions there, Lucas Kubrikan and, yeah. and his mate. Mazek. But, yeah, th this is where it went wrong for the young German I think Adam you're right that that peel out I don't think it's worth it I think a, oh. a good solid spin uh, and allow, allowing yourself to track down through the next move much much faster much more aggressive and, and what we want to see in the future Definitely. we saw uh, Mikhail Martikan take the whole move on forwards yesterday no surprises there uh, you know famously he will if there's an option like that, he will go straight. And, uh, you know, he worked for him in the semi final, didn't in the final. He took a penalty. Um, sometimes you watch him and think that almost he needs that to get excited about racing and he's an extra challenge. Fox is next to go. Yeah. So, two Foxes, let's not confuse them. Excitement machine, Noemi Fox coming in. Quick spin, needs to get the nose down. Yeah, not, not bad, not her best, but. No, Amy's. It looked like she didn't have the best water there. Didn't yeah. really get any help, and uh, so did well not to make the same mistake that Anna did. Yeah, she just kept the tail free, kept the edges free, and and staying in this race. That's that's the biggest thing on this top half course. You're just looking to stay in it, set yourself up. Yeah, we were saying earlier, just got to be within about a second on the top. Oh, she's two and a half seconds down, so not the fastest, but no major disasters yet. And there's plenty of time to make up down here, particularly as Teresa took on that peel-out option we were just discussing yeah, on this middle section. I think Noemi's probably going to go for the spin forwards. Yeah, she went 
for the spin forwards on her first uh, in her semi final. Uh, just caught in the. Oh no, oh, she's gone high. You can she see that coming enough. It didn't look like out of 10 that she got her nose down enough, and yeah, caught by the Eddie straight away and in it above 11. Again, done well to stay clean, but. Yep, back on the plan, Noemi. This is costly. Yeah, she needs to go direct here, but hasn't been able to get the nose down enough. So, time is ticking away, unfortunately, for young Aussie girl. Noemi just needs to stay in it. Again, this is still such a great learning opportunity for her. With the Olympic Games coming up in just over two years. But she, 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 but she had some podiums last year, so it's starting to, to really put the experience She's down. Certainly capable of doing it. Um, Every time you make these finals, it's another step forward. So she's stepping forward. You can see the speed, the raw speed that she has on that forward stroke there. It's one of her real, real strengths. It's just how she can tap into that in the future to, to build those runs. Oh, it is a difficult move, that 20, 21 22. It is a real sting in the tail. Yeah, I think you have to keep the blade in the water. Fortunately, she was a little bit in two minds. Uh, she doesn't look very happy with that run. No. Into fifth place for now, but with two boats left to go. Um, I'll just remind Robbie, we've already got one. There's one British girl on the podium currently. Uh, two boats left to go. <laughs> Uh, one of them's British, one of them's Australian. It says um, your, your training partner coming up in next. In fact, yeah, Great Britain now guaranteed a medal already. Um, let's see what colour and let's see how many. See if Mallory Franklin can uh, get herself on there too. We talked earlier that Mallory is now world champion and, and I guess this is a boost of confidence. Definitely, yeah. I think, uh, you know, she's got her eyes on the, uh, the number one bib, the number one world ranking that uh, Jess has and uh, she just keeps wants to win in races. Um, yeah, really, re always really impressed with both Mallory and Kim, their desire to win. Um, you know, it's, it's good for me to be around that, um, for sure. Um, they're so just so used to it. Do, how long do you spend with these girls a week? 20 hours a week? 20 hours a week? Um, we don't do all of our training sessions together, but uh, you know, in, in Lee Valley we operate kind of Monday to Saturday. Um, most of us stay there all day, so um, even between sessions and stuff. And there she goes. She's off. Good start so far. She paddles her boat, which uh, I can't say it's turquoise. She's very particular. It's not turquoise, it's <laughs> teal. Um, she loves the color, and it's elephants as well. You can't quite see it from this angle. If you look closely, uh, yeah, the, the shapes on the bow that you can see are elephants. She loves elephants. Well done. And she's a second up on the split, so this is really fast so far. Yeah, but again, all the work is really still to come. Definitely, yeah. This this is all the hard stuff. It's hard to make up that much time on the uh, on the start. So really nice jump. She landed nicely. Gets Let the nose the down. Fall. Yeah, she's done that very nice. Maybe a little bit too yeah. safe, giving away a fraction, but it's it's solid. Yeah, we, we, we were talking earlier about her like laser focus. You can just see her eyes eyeball in every inside pole, making sure she's staying clean. And that was really good through that section. No drama, surf Mallory into the up left 15. Presses the bow. Ah, oh, that's really nice. Tail just catching a little bit on the wall, but she sneaks out without taking the touch. No, she's oh, sure. penalty is showing. Maybe she just brushed it. Still a point four Even out. with the touch, she is leading. Yeah, and she's blasting out in front. Takes a bit of a hit and has to put the brakes on. So that's where Teresa was particularly good there yeah, as well. So really flew through I there. say this is neck and neck now to the finish. Mallory definitely up on raw pace, but that two second penalty. Oh, very close. Oh, I'm not sure if she even brushed the inside pole on the entry. Yeah, a little bit of movement on uh, on the poles, but that's very good. Oh, oh Mallory takes a big oh, edge. Oh, just wow. ducks inside. She's got plenty of time. It's fast, but is it fast enough? I think it is. No, oh, she she has been given a touch on the last gate. gate. Oh, so hard. hard. But 111 as well. It's the fastest run that we've seen so far today. There is a star by her name, so the judge is already reviewing those penalties, I think. Maybe did you, did you we'll see, see the touch on the last one? I thought she ducked just inside it. Yeah, I'm not sure if she hit gate 15 either as well. It did look like it was moving, but it could have been the water. Here we go. Here we, go. we get a replay. Let's see what we think. Oh, you can just see the numbers spin around. So, uh, you know, there's, there's multiple cameras on that. So, uh, yeah, I think oh, it's hard to tell. Yeah. That's that's the difficulty of being the star's judges. gone already. So uh, I'm sure the video judges had a good luck. So here we are. We have one athlete to go in the final of the C1 from Litoski, and it just happens to be Jess Fox, who's the 
the multiple world champion and is someone who you don't want to go last in this competition. Yeah, if what you're it? sat on first with Jess Fox coming down, you know, you're know you worried your title's going to get taken away. One of the Aussie coaches, Julian Bio, is uh, doing a podcast and uh, interviewed Jess the other day and in, in his preparation found out that Jess actually wins more than she loses. So she has a 65% win rate. Wow. wow. So the old adage that uh, you lose more than you win, doesn't apply to Jess. That's just insane form for a Canoe athlete. More medals than hot dinners for most people, I think, yeah, Jessica Fox. Exactly. Anyway, let's see how she gets today. Off to a solid start. Another girl paddling the hype that we've seen, or maybe it's the lady hype. I'm not sure which one. But she is quick so far. Yeah, she had a few issues in Australia with her boat being stolen, but she's back in, it, in her boat that had been stolen, and she loves it. So she's absolutely flying. Point six up on the first split. And you can see the family and friends running down beside her. Great yeah, support. popular girl on the circuit as well. Uh, you know, she's she's constantly winning medals and stuff, but also really humble. Um, you know, th no no arrogance about her at all. So and puts uh, in the hours as the ICF uh, representative. Definitely, yeah, like she's a really good role model for the sport. Oh, that was silky smooth flying. Oh, really quick through there. Jess Fox, that is how it's done. Oh, we're going to see that 110. Yeah, look at that, just about. using the water, keeping it in. Way Does she switch? There. No, she stays on the downstream side, but she is 4.25 <laughs> seconds wow. up. She is absolutely flying. In and out, pushes high. Does she keep the run on like Teresa? Yes, she does. This is awesome. I, I think this could be the 110 run we've been searching for. Definitely, yeah. Lesson for all the other C1 girls. Anyone watching here, this is how She's it's done. She's muscling it. She had, absolutely had to fight that gate. Oh, the last move, sliding around a little bit, but uses the wave. Oh, so wave. nice through that. This could be sub-110. Jess Fox wow. coming to the forge the finish line. 106.34. 7.62 seconds in the lead. Congratulations, Jess. Absolutely took the field apart there. Stamps her authority on uh, the 2018 season at World Cup 1. Yeah. Um, so showing Mallory that she wants her world title back as well, I'm sure. Winning K1, winning C1. Jess Fox. She electric. Did it in Tatson, didn't she, a couple of years ago for the first time. And then I know she's won in Prague by, what, 13 seconds. But it, it's, uh, it's, it's impressive. Definitely. We've, you know, we were talking earlier that the strength in the category is building, um, but to still be able to win a race by seven and a half seconds. And apparently she does quite a lot of moves in practice. She doesn't quite have the confidence to move in the, in the real competition that she was doing. Yeah, she still has another gear. I, th I think, and that's what I'm talking about with the staying on the inside blade, so the upstream blade into the stopper moves. She's been working a lot on that, on her balance, and that's the next step. Wow, <laughs> slow mo's here, really enjoying those uh, blue around that double up. Yeah. yeah, that's a scary thing. Jess still has more to bring. 106 as well. I'm not sure what she did in a kayak yesterday to take a medal uh, uh, to, to win the race, but I think that would have been uh, competitive in the K1 women as well. You know, normally we see the uh, the Sioux women are a chunk down on that. Um, I think she would have made look. final. Oh, she'd have been fifth in yeah. the women's kayak. So uh, yeah, absolutely amazing one there. And are we going to have a word of that probably? So guys, quick summary. Anyway, sorry, I'll just go through the classification. Yes, Jess Fox won for Australia. Teresa Fizzarosa took the silver for the Czech Republic. And Mallory Franklin just edging out Kimberly Woods to take the bronze medal. So that's a really staggering performance to win by 7.62 seconds on the first event of the, of the year, where all the Europeans have had a major competition a couple of weeks before. It's, it's well done. Yeah, definitely. I'm not sure where me and Robbie stack on the, uh, the Great Britain versus Australia bet. Uh, Jess taking the win, obviously, but I'd like to go for the, uh, the combined uh, results, um, which yeah, I think we might just edge them. I think Australia's taking the chocolates for sure, mate. <laughs> You've both done incredibly well as commentators anyway, so thanks so much for stepping in. And, uh, well, yes, I'm sure you could hear the, uh, the loudspeaker. They were getting very excited. That was something special. Uh, yeah, I could, uh, I could hear it in the start. I could hear it in the middle. I could hear the Aussies and the crowd. And... Look, it was such a, an awesome run, and uh, I think once I was through that move, 10, 11, 12, 13, I was like, okay, now charge, and uh, yeah, thrilled with that run. And a double for the weekend, is that pretty special for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, to be able to back up after yesterday it takes it out of you physically and mentally, emotionally, so yeah, look, I was really pleased with that final, and um, uh, yeah, looking forward to resting and recovering and coming back next week. 
you set the bar pretty high pretty early in the season, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, but you can always improve, you can always learn. Um, so I'm looking forward to racing again in, in Krakow next week. And uh, there's a few races throughout the season, but obviously the Worlds is the big one. But each race is, is a great opportunity to learn and put some good runs down. Congratulations. Well done, Jess. Thank you. Faultless in interviews as well. Yeah. She is the ultimate professional in our sport. Um, just such an impressive athlete and person. Uh, always takes the time to, to talk to the juniors, and, and that's what we what we love about Jesse and our team. Thanks, guys. So, uh, Robin, Jeffrey, Adam Burgess, so good to see you. And uh, we're going to make way for some uh, kayak experts. Cool. Thanks, All right, we're going to go out and watch it from the stands. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. So here we have, by definition, the standings for the first World Cup with Jess Fox leading the ball. It's exactly the same as the finish. Uh, there's going to be five World Cups this season, the last one double points, but it's really important to see how these athletes perform over the next, well, few weeks. And we have the start list for the men's final, which is going to be starting very soon. Now, these are the top athletes that we've seen so far today. We started with 40 athletes, and then we are down to 10. I'll help you, but really to, uh, to sort of to show us what it's all about, because they know we do have Ricky Funk and we have uh, Kuba Jakob Griga. So thank you for coming in. Hi. Thank you. Good afternoon. Well, here we go. We haven't much time to chat. Let's go straight into the action. The idea is to inform, entertain, and give us your local knowledge. Which is going to be the most stressful work of this World Cup. Huh? <laughs> Bradley Ford's Cryons. He was the fastest in the heats and in the semi-final. He just made it through. Yeah, so good to see him in the final. He's still a young paddler. And yeah, we will see what he can bring down in the final. He had the really good qualifiers as well, right? Yeah. yeah, he was the fastest. He's definitely on fire. He wants to show his skills. So we're to, are any of these guys faster than you? Because I know we say in the commentary yeah, that Ricky's probably the fastest down here. <laughs> She's always the fastest. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so far... Oh, touch. Yeah, that was a big mistake. I don't really think that it's going to work with the touch. It's going to be really hard to, yeah. to have some good result with the touch, oh especially no. here. Oh. oh, it's all gone off. That's a pity. But he's going back for the gate. We've seen that so many times. We saw Daniel Watkins and a couple of others, the flyers, it just all went wrong. It's a quite difficult passage. And, uh, these are really the five Ks that were everything decides, I would say. Yeah, it's yeah, uh, definitely. the hardest part of the course. You are actually gain, getting tired after the first part, so it's really hard to manage it, like to do it good. And is this a, set, a combination that's set quite frequently, or is it a, a, a different combination? It's set quite frequently on the, on the training, but I think it's never been there uh, on, the, on the race. So It's just difficult. 
Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really, it's really difficult. And is the water surging a bit, or can you predict what's going to happen? Yeah, I think it's a little bit, but um, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. I suppose that's the fun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of slalom. Next one, Biazitzo. Well, he just sneaked through, didn't he? He, had, uh, he was looking a bit frustrated when he finished, but he's extremely fast. And I don't know if you, uh, you two were probably still at school last time he raced here I in think 2015. Yeah, I think he was really, really fast. He won by, I think, about three seconds. Yeah, it was crazy. He's really one of the guys to watch because his style is really great. It's, it's yeah. beautiful to watch his technique. It's, it's fast and smooth. <laughs> and, and you can recognize it from a couple of kilometers away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give you just a couple of seconds. Why are you here? Why are you not on the water? Yeah, what should I say? I just uh, I didn't really have a good run, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. I had a good first part, but then I got really tired, and I just had like muscle. They were rock solid, so it didn't work. Yeah, the conditions are quite tough. It's not really a warm yeah, it's summer day. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a summer sport with nine uh, degrees Celsius. Yeah. So. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, he's uh, had challenges in the French selections, but he's a top athlete. Yeah, definitely. Always great to watch. This is really part of the course where you, where you cannot gain anything anytime. You just can make a mistake and lose sometimes. So we can, we can actually see it's pretty, yeah, it's just one second. But he's focused. I wonder if his supporters have time to get changed and watch him. <laughs> oh, they haven't bothered us. Oh. 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 That actually, from our view, it looked like a work for a widow judge. Again, again. Wow, that was beautiful. Yeah. It's really, uh, I think he's just trying to make some time after the touch. And with the overhead pictures, you really see the, the, the flows of water. Maybe not good to have it on a, on a higher level, but you can really see what the challenges are. Yeah, you can really see from, from this view that the water is changing a lot, and, and it's really beautiful to see that. Touches. But look at the time, 92.7, yeah. which is really good, I think. Would it be the winning time in semifinals? Or? Yeah, it would be a really good run without the touches. But we will see what happens and what the other paddlers bring down. Still, yeah. Maybe the guys are, are going to be a little more tired after the first one, so maybe this is going to be the time for a medal. Who knows? Yeah, the raw time. Uh, Yuri came down in 92.41. Yeah, Yuri's at a different level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next one, the first Czech one. We have three Czechs in the final. And he came fourth in the Czech trials, which uh, knocked out of Ravr Hladilek. Yeah, which is really, really good. Yeah. To make the Czech team, it's yeah. maybe... If you make the Czech team, you're able to win the World Cup, I guess. But we say that about the Slovak team and the German team, so... Pretty much, uh, if, you, if, you're, if you're in the team, you're obviously very, very good. <laughs> so, Ricky, I know you're very, very good, but this weekend, Jess has been amazing. Yeah, definitely. Jess is mostly always amazing. Um, it's great to watch her, and yeah, it's always a great race against her. Exactly. It's fun, yeah. So, you took a podium place uh, yesterday. <laughs> Have the conditions changed since yesterday? I think you had there's a bit more yeah. wind yesterday. I guess. Yeah, maybe a little bit more wind, but I think it's nearly the same. Well, here we are. You watch here, yeah. Pretty good mother. Yeah. That looked pretty good. Yeah.
And he's just keeping a space from all the gates, all the poles. It's looking really nice, really smooth. Yeah, he's not losing so much time. Only 0.3 seconds behind. Do you, do you control your energy in the first, or are you going flat out? I think I would control it. And, um, yeah, just make clear you don't have a clumsy touch. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. Another touch. But split is still good. Oh. Mm -hmm. I to a little bit. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple of seconds uh, slipping away on quite a few occasions. Oh. Mm. I think he lost some speed in the upstream. But still, Matthew had a really good time, but two touches, so maybe, maybe he could still make it. Still in the first position. Yeah, well, not a surprise. Two he also had a good row time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good time. And I think all, I mean, by clearly the athletes are all top athletes, but they're all known as very, very fast athletes. Yeah, that's the, the wise world champion from last year. It's going to come. So do you get nervous watching them? Not yeah, a, a little bit. I feel like I feel with the athletes, and I just hope that everybody can show their skills. We should have a camera cool. on you for when Sebastian Schubert comes down. Yeah. <laughs> So the next go is going to be is it popular. He just looked like he gave it so much energy in the first uh, the first section, well about an hour ago. Yeah, he's a really strong paddler. I think he he has enough energy to you know to do more than just two runs. So yeah. he's going to be all right. Really looking forward to see this because you really need power on this course and. I think he's he's the one to watch on this one. He's ready to race. Yeah, he really look at his facial expression, he gives it everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knows the course, Polish team comes Ooh. here a lot. Yeah. Early touch. <laughs> we saw that a lot in the yeah. semi-final. <laughs> So even with that, it's fast. It's the fast, yeah. And the other ones also have touches, so you just need to be, yeah, to concentrate and don't risk too much. This was really yeah. nice. It's going a little bit higher to take the. And he keeps the speed. Line. Yeah, he keeps that. This was nicely done. Is that something you're born with, speed, or can you train for it? I guess both. Yeah, I think you can train for it. But for sure, there are some guys that are naturally wow, faster. Fast. Wow. 2.6 up. He could be the new leader. If he doesn't make the same mistake like Peter Kauser. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy, wasn't it? We had and two uh, and in the world right? champion, Andre Junka. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this was crazy. But he's, wow. Look at the time. Wow, 90 without the touch. That's really it's good. It's really good. Is he And he's happy. happy. Yeah, I think he's happy. Oh? What I don't know. What amazes me is <laughs> normally the athletes know exactly where the camera is. I guess you're too exhausted. Yeah, this, the course is just too long. You, you don't really think of that. It's good to see so many athletes who've, uh, who've stayed behind to watch. Yeah. So four athletes gone, by definition six to go. Are we going to see Darius Popiela take a medal? Yeah, and the next one, Samuel Hernans. I think he was the first in the semi-final. He was the first to go, the wasn't he? A four, <laughs> Forty athletes, amazing. <Yeah. laughs> and the similarities between this course and Seo. 
Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see because he sometimes, I remember watching him five or six years ago there and he made an early mistake and just looked like he had a, a turbo charge going down the rest of the course very fast. Yeah, he's really one that uh, I, I've seen him actually wasn't so he had a touch on the I, I think first three gates and then he still had the fastest time. He's really fast guy. He's good to watch and yeah, I think we're all pretty excited to watch him now. Okay, that's his game face on. This is the second 32 year old. Here he comes. Safe? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Nearly spectrally. <laughs> now he's sprinting to gate six, five. Still, so he's not going really with the stream. He had some struggles there. I think he's going to be. I thought he's yeah. going to be a little slower, but. I think Pupiela had a touch. Oh, to yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. But yeah, still fast. Oh, there's a, there's a touch. Oh, no. Lost a little bit of speed. It's difficult to get back to the perfect line, but he managed it. It's going to be difficult now. Four seconds off the pace. But this was really fast. Now he has to be good in the last gate. But there's no re not really a space to make some time here on the last three gates. Yeah, you just can lose some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and look, from a spectator's point of view, it looks very difficult, this last two combinations. Yeah, I lost, uh, I think. Oh, no. That's but he's going really back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you have to go back. Yeah. You, you just won the best position that you can possibly gain, but maybe for the overall World Cup for the points, but obviously no chance to be on a podium. Now. Yeah, disappointed. <laughs> so, many, so many, like you mentioned before, we had uh, Kauza and Hunke. Yeah. They, they both made the, can you say a mistake or was it the water that changed? I think they tried to be more directly or maybe too directly and uh, yeah, it didn't pay off. Yeah, the water's changing a little bit above 21, and uh, yeah, then if you just don't watch your space and don't do what you have to do, mistakes come. Oh, next one is the Olympic champion. I think what we're going to do is hear a little bit from uh, Darius, perhaps, in a, in a few seconds. We've got this new, new possibility of having an interview halfway through with the leader. Which is cool. <laughs> so it's, uh, I think it works really well, yeah, we'll just have to see some... Slavation, let's see what we see. Well, the Polish team are rubbing their hands with excitement. <laughs> Darius, I know you didn't seem very happy with that run, but you're leading at the halfway stage of the final. Yeah, in the halfway, it's okay. But gate number two, it was a big mistake. I shouldn't do this. But what can I do? Then I accelerate, I do all my best. All what I can. Power, power on board, and that's it. <laughs> You're still leading, so that's a good thing at this stage. Yeah, but we still have big names to come, so I, I'm happy about the run, but it could be a little bit better with no touch. Right, let's see how the last five go. Well done. Thank you. Well done, Darius. That's great, just to actually we feel... So we've got the, the, the world's best paddlers on commentary and uh, the world's best paddlers today are actually being interviewed. It's all about bringing it closer to the, the public, I guess. Do you guys have media training, or you just you, just, you realize that it's nice to reach out? I don't have media training. Okay, that's because you're winning all the time. You don't have time, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Red Bull, obviously you're doing something correctly. Mr. Red Bull. No, I don't really have a media training. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Certainly works. I think, as you can see, I don't really have a media training. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's tall. So there's uh, the athletes we've seen so far coming down. 
And it's good that we actually have the sun now after three days, maybe. Yeah, just to show it's a flat of the, uh, the great venue, because a lot of work goes into this. I think there's over 100 volunteers. Wow. Who, who can't, I mean, it is a, a city that lives partially for the sport. Well, you, maybe you can tell me more about it, but it's a, it's a really, it's a, it's a heartbeat of the region. I would say, yeah, it's uh, people people love the sport, and uh, uh, for sure, if we had a nicer weather, there would come more more spectators spectators would be here. So, yeah, they love the city, they love the sport, and I don't know what to tell about that. That's great. <laughs> here we go. Who's that? Joe Clark, Olympic champion. That, that's, you can never not be Olympic. Once you're Olympic champion, you, that's for life, isn't it? Follows you around. I'd say so. Mentioning the sun, Joe chose the short oh, sleeve. Yeah. But it's still not really warm. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> See what the split says. Whoa! It's that's fast. really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Now it's all about keeping it clean, I would say. Each year he seems yeah. to look more powerful. There are many touches. This was really nice. Maybe stopped his pose a little bit, but yeah, this is really a difficult combination, so... Well, look at that, one second up. But he lost the stopper. A little bit low in the up. I think this upstream is also difficult. The water's changing a lot. Yeah. You, you cannot go too much far to the to the left. So. But he's fast. going to be really close. Whoa, just that was close. <laughs> well, listening to the interview, Darius Popiella doesn't expect to win, but it's looking good. <laughs> but this was the first clean, clean run that we've seen so far. So it was a good work from Joe. And he's in the second position. So, Martin just came just down after you. So there's a huge cheer when you went down. And then there was a, oh no. <laughs> and then there was another huge cheer. Yeah, he's, he's, he knows what to do. He, I think he didn't even listen to my run, so he did what, we, what he was expected to do. He knows the course, he made, he made the best of it, and yeah, now he's in the final. And, and he, look, he looked like he'd won Olympic gold. He looked, his, his expression when he came over the line was like complete He was choice. really happy, he was really happy, yeah. It's always great to be in the final in front of your home uh, crowd. Yeah. You expect some noise. The drummer's going to be active, the music's going to be up, and the <laughs> announcer's going to be screaming. They're going to cheer in down the course, which is really great. Well, they turn the music up, not that you need to. <laughs> <laughs> Sun's out, couldn't be better, really. Where he's going for it, You can really see that he's, yeah, he's, he's done a few times already. Was there a touch? I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Oh. Nice, see that. Nice, see that. Maybe it's because the poles on the gates are low somewhere, so maybe you hit the, with the water sometimes. Well, it'll certainly be reviewed, so as we see, it's slightly up. Comes to the tricky part. Not losing any time, still keeping it smooth. Oh, no. oh there was a, no. This was nice. Oh, was no there a touch? touch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really. I think it's it going was too But he's still fighting, which is really good. You can see she's, he's fighting for every second. 
It's really hard here. The athletes are losing their power and still a few games to go. So unfortunately, it's not going to be the, the medal. Still a pretty good time, but yeah, three touches are just too much. And uh, yeah, I didn't see the first one. I don't know. How Even if it came off, though, it wouldn't really change. Put him in as a fourth. So this is where Ricky starts rubbing her legs. Yeah. <laughs> now my teammate is on the start line. And yeah, I hope he can show his skills. I think you can always expect something good from Germans. You guys are pretty He will strong. be really excited to race. <laughs> So how is how is Shubi? Has Sebastian Shubi? Is he on form? He is on form, definitely. He is really good in training, and uh, yeah, we will see what he brings down the course. So there's three absolute flyers to go: Schubert, Prindis, and Priskovic. So the time could come down easily. Vicky, do you think it's possible to get the time under 90? Uh, yeah, you never know what they what's gonna happen, but I think it would be really hard to be clean and fast. But well, he's off. Yeah. Basti is definitely on fire. Chose a little safe line, wasn't it? Yeah. This was good. Yeah. Wow. Half a second faster than Popella. Half a second faster. So he has the advantage so far. Now he keeps calm and concentrates. Oh, this is good. He kept the speed. Oh. I think this is really good. This is really good. Well, he's still in with it, isn't he? This is really good. Lost some time in there, but still, still, I think if he, if he makes this few gates good. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, this fun. was fast. <laughs> cool. Wow. This is amazing. Nice. Yeah, that was he was really fast game. and... Wow, great. Woo. This is really good. This was really good run. Yeah. And a clean run. Clean so run, risky. The, the, he, he risked those like difficult parts, and uh, I think it really paid off. It was the uh, good management between controlling and risking. But often he has the first World Cup of the season, which is good. So he obviously has a good winter, comes in it with a good frame of mind. And say so guaranteed a medal. However, we do have some rather fast athletes to come. Yeah. Well, Lani, you can relax now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still excited. It's not over yet, is it? It's not yeah, over it's yet. Yeah, it's not over yet. So is there any more time to come out of it? Do you see any places where you could make more time? Uh, I think there was some space, but not two seconds. Uh, my question before was if it's possible to make it under 90. I, I don't think it's going to be possible uh, now. Because yeah. he had a really good run. It was clean. No, no big mistakes. So... I'm pretty curious about Ija because uh, he always choose the risky, yeah. <laughs> risky way to go the, through the gates. So, well, as Vic Prindis had a, an amazing season last year. Yeah. So let's see how he can keep it going. What an amazing style to, to watch. Yeah, I really like to watch him and good to learn from him. Yeah. 
So how's it start? Nice and impressive, clean. Yeah, I think. Very much in touch. He's looking really safe. He just keeps the space in every gate, and it pays off. He's still in touch with uh, with Shubi. So when you see him pedaling, it looks easy, but it's not easy. <laughs> Of course, there is a little bit. Oh. Yeah, it looks like he's down a little bit. Significantly, look at that. Not a little bit. Three seconds. Three seconds. And first to third is only less than a second. And he lost some, some time again. He was low in that upstream. So it's going to be at least a silver medal for Germany. Not today. <laughs> we can see he's not really satisfied. Yeah. Well, one to go. These are ideal conditions because the wind's dropped, the sun's out, lots of spectators. And Priskovic, who's been by the side of the river since I believe he was about two years old. <laughs> and another guy that chose the short sleeve with the cold water again. So let's see if it's going to work for him. So this is coming to you live. We're just by the side of the most exciting bit of the course. Ricky Funk is with us, but keeping it together really well. And then you get excited when Sebastian Schubert or German races. And Cuba, I don't think you ever get stressed, you. I'm always stressed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> No, it's really cool to watch these guys. I, I think yeah, it would be much nicer to be there on the water, but... Exactly. Here we go. Yuri Puskovic. Whoa. Yes. This was fast. That's what Whoa. I was talking about. Little cut lines. He's always risky. good for a surprise. He, he tells, when he was a junior, he once held back in a race and swore never to do it again. <laughs> Looks like a really fast run. And yeah, yeah, half a second up. So, former world keep champion. It, he can keep the pace. Which he still oh. can. That's beautiful. Oh. Oh. Two second penalty makes it interesting. Is there another touch? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, maybe not. No. Oh, he cut him. That was too much. Yeah. Is that going to be a big one? That's a big mistake. I suppose he's, he's only human. He's trying to just do too much. Oh, he's not See, win. Maybe he could make at least a podium. Amazing. Like fast. No, Just missed out the podium. Oh, yeah. But his time was still really good. Yeah, he almost hit the, the 19th. So. so, gold medal for oh, Germany. <laughs> You should see the smile on Ricky's face now. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's only three clean runs. It's many touches. Chubi really deserves it today. He yeah. had a clean run. He had a really good one. That's great. That's good. Good tight racing. No one really tamed the course. I think the course is still the winner. <laughs> 
We do have an asterisk next to Yuri Priskovich's name. So if it did come off, he wouldn't win. I'm oh, sorry. I'm super happy to win this race. I was waiting for a win since three years now. And like it was a tricky course today and there did some risk in the final because I knew that Joe and Darius were super fast. So I'm mega happy. You've been so close so many times. Did you ever think, I wonder where the next win will come? Yeah, I was like last year so many times in the fourth place or second or third. And I just she had a good winter. I was training and I just pushed out and I'm happy. Long season. Are you going to compete in all the World Cups? Yeah, for sure I will compete all World Cups. Now I'm in a good position for the overall. Maybe I can try to win my third title. So I'm trying to rest everything. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Cool, well done. Got a great way to start the season. So that's about coming up to the end of the, the weekend. It's been, a, it's been a, a good weekend for us, the spectators. Has it been fun for you, the athletes? Yeah, it was definitely a great race. It was so much fun. And I really enjoyed the course in the training sessions. Just let me quickly repeat the official. Well, there's still an asterisk, so it's not official yet. But Sebastian Schubert has won. Uh, he's got the gold medal and Darius Popiela so far is second and so far Joe Clark is third with an asterisk next to Jiri Priskovic's name. What does it mean? Well, there's something to be looked at. Maxim Kukumov, I guess, is going to be two seconds. I think it's going to be about the, the left upstream. Just uh, I think it's number 15 because uh, maybe, maybe they're just checking if his head was inside because he tried to cut the line and it didn't really work, I guess. so. Probably it's going to be about that one, and it's gone now, so yeah. So is it gone? So he still s no more asterisks, and he stays in fourth place. That's confirmed that uh, Germany, Poland, Great Britain take the medals now. But when do you go on to uh, Krakow? Yeah, uh, directly today. Today? Yeah. Two hours drive, training tomorrow. this afternoon, training tomorrow. And I believe that hot weather's been ordered. <laughs> so Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully it'll be uh, it'll be great. But uh, no, for us it's it's really good to get the athletes in and and understand your perspective of how you actually see the race. And it was easy today because I I promised you a warm room with shelter. <laughs> so uh, thanks for stepping in. Uh, we really appreciate it. We'll uh, we'll let you go and celebrate with your compatriots and uh, move on. And we'll see you next week in uh, Krakow. So thank you so much. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Have see a good you. day. dynamic racing this weekend it's been a lot of fun to comment on and it's been a lot of fun and respect to all the athletes because it hasn't been easy the water is very cold the weather condition in general has been difficult to see the water there's quite a few rocks out there world cup standings by definition exactly the same as the position so sebastian schubert is happy that he's off to a good start what he was referring to in the interview is he's already been twice overall champion Biela, 32 years old, is doing well. Joe Clark, Olympic champion, is doing well. And all the Ast have uh, really covered themselves in glory because it's a huge starting field, many races today. And that covers it up, I think, for live coverage for us today. Uh, feel free to uh, check out the Twitter feed, at Planet Canoe. Anything, feedback, positive, or what have you, would love it.
Well, Jess, I'm sure you could hear the uh, the loudspeaker. They were getting very excited. That was something special. Uh, yeah, I could uh, I could hear it in the start. I could hear it in the middle. I could hear the Aussies and the crowd. And look, it was such a an awesome run. And uh, I think once I was through that move, 10, 11, 12, 13, I was like, OK, now charge. And uh, yeah, thrilled with that run. And a double for the weekend. Is that pretty special for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, to be able to back up after yesterday it takes it out of you physically and mentally, emotionally. So, yeah, look, I was really pleased with that final and, um, uh, yeah, looking forward to resting and recovering and coming back next week. You set the bar pretty high pretty early in the season, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, but you can always improve, you can always learn. Um, so... I'm looking forward to racing again in, in Krakow next week and uh, there's a few races throughout the season but obviously the Worlds is the big one but each race is, is a great opportunity to learn and put some good runs down. Congratulations, well done Jess. Thank you. Thirty seconds. Okay, no worries. When was your last World Cup? Last year, second World Cup. And last win was 2014 in Augsburg. Sebastian, congratulations on the gold medal. How do you feel about that? I'm super happy to win this race. I was waiting for a win since three years now. and. Like it was a tricky course today and they did some risk in the final because I knew that Joe and Darius were super fast. So I'm mega happy. You've been so close so many times. Did you ever think, I wonder whether the next win will come? Yeah, I was like last year so many times on the fourth place or second or third. And I just, she had a good winter, I was training and I just pushed out and I'm happy. Good long season. Are you going to compete at all the World Cups? Yeah, for sure I will compete all World Cups. Now I'm in a good position for the overall. Maybe I can try to win my third title. So I'm trying to race everything. Congratulations, well done. Thank you.
Aí posso muito ajudar, é? Okay. 